YouTube comment support. This is Operator1224. How may I help you? Uh, yeah, thanks for taking my call, but every time I leave a sub for sub comment, it gets taken down. Are you able to fix that? No, ma'am, this is not 911. This is a YouTube comment support center, but I can connect you. YouTube comment support center, what's the nature of your emergency? Yeah, how do I get more subscribers for my channel? All right, I'm hanging up. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Trace, and today I'm going to be talking about the new Netflix movie, The Guilty, starring Jake Gyllenhaal, directed by Anton Fuqua. I hope I said that right. If this is your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you enjoyed this video. And if this is not your first time here, well then, welcome back. Glad to have you. This actually wasn't on my radar until like a little, maybe even like a little more than like a week ago. I had no idea that this movie was coming out. And then I saw that trailer and my heart stopped just from the trailer. It was so intense and I needed to see it right then and there. But I had a concern because Netflix movies, they don't have the best track record. And I know I'm not alone with thinking that. They maybe have one or two good movies a year. And how many movies do they put out? They put out like one every hour. Most of the time, they don't even market the movies they put out. They just put them out just to see what happens. So I'm not going to lie if, I'm good, if I said I wasn't a little bit hesitant. But you know what? Jake Gyllenhaal, he picks his scripts very carefully. And he is such a good actor. It is, it is actually a shame that nothing happened with his role with uh, Nightcrawler. And... Unfortunately, I don't think anything's going to happen with him with in this movie either. And I hope it does because the acting in this movie that he does by himself is so incredible and heart pounding. And you want to tear up at times almost. So essentially, this movie is a one isolated location movie. And if you've been watching some of my videos, you know that I kind of like those movies a lot. So in this movie, he plays a police officer that seems to be on dispatch duty for an extended amount of time, and dispatch is kind of just getting to him. And we see signs in the movie of him having like anxiety, and he's in high stress situations, not only in his work life, but also in his personal life. So in this movie, we see him balancing his personal life along with what's happening at work. And essentially what's happening at work, if you've seen the trailer without giving anything away, he basically just takes a call where a woman is kidnapped but he doesn't really have any details, so he tries to figure out as many details as he can to find this woman. The emotions that he's able to give and perform in such a blink of an eye manner, he's able to go from scared to angry to threatened in such a blink of an eye, and it truly is fantastic. And there were times that I found myself breathing heavily just because the air seemed heavy around me just from watching this movie, it was so intense. It's a short movie, it's only an hour and a half, but it's very tightly paced. There's no filler in this movie. Everything, every scene in this movie needs to be in the movie. It should be in the movie. So the pacing is very well. Usually I'm the type of guy that says, well, 10 minutes could have been taken off or 20 minutes could have been taken off. But for this movie, I can't see anything else being added and I can't see anything being taken off. And there is a twist in this movie. Now here's the twist, and there is a twist. We show it. We show all of it. I didn't expect it, but once I started watching the movie, I kind of was piecing together what possibilities could be happening. And it's not the best twist of the year, but nonetheless, it's a pretty good twist. So if you're not familiar with the twist, basically halfway through the movie, Yeah, I know. It was pretty crazy. I'm going to keep this review relatively short. It's a very good movie. I would suggest taking an hour and a half to sit down and watch this movie on Netflix, either this weekend or upcoming this week. Highly suggest it. So that's my review of the new Jake Gyllenhaal Netflix movie, The Guilty. Did you have a chance to check it out this weekend? Are you going to check it out? And you know what? Why don't you go ahead and jump down in the comments and let me know your favorite Jake Gyllenhaal performance. But I do have to get going because I'm having an old friend for dinner. So until then, see you next time.